I'm Caitlin Averill. I'm a registered nurse at Trinity Health Muskegon. It was a sunny day in July and I was out shopping and I had heard some commotion about a man that had fallen outside. I was going out that direction and I had seen this man laying on the ground. He was face down, wasn't moving. There had already had emergency crews on the way, so I wasn't sure if I was really needed. I ended up going over there. As I was walking over there, they had started to flip him over. And I noticed when I got over there that his face was all bloody from the impact of hitting the pavement. And immediately I noticed that he wasn't really breathing. And so I'd asked some of the bystanders that were sitting outside if they had checked for a pulse and nobody had said that they did. So I checked for a pulse and immediately I was like, there's no pulse, we need to start CPR. I had a lot of adrenaline pumping and I could hear on the phone of one of the bystanders, the dispatch was asking who was present, and I said, I'm a nurse, I'm starting CPR, do we have an AED machine available? And one of the employees said, no, I don't think we have one, and another one said, if we do, I don't know where it's at. So as I continued to do CPR, there was nobody willing to just jump in and help me. So I did CPR for about 10 to 15 minutes until help had arrived. And at the time, a sheriff had arrived and they had an AED machine. They also had some Narcan. We had to cut his clothes off to get access to give him the Narcan. We got the AED machine on and it shocked him. We continued CPR, we continued using the AED machine until more help had arrived. At that time, a fire department and emergency crews had arrived and they had more Narcan available. He did finally come to, he had a pulse. They loaded him in the ambulance and they took him to a hospital, it was about 20 to 30 minutes. He survived, I don't know what his long-term effects were. I was presented with an award from the emergency services for a life-saving attempt. Without the RQI program, I don't think I would have jumped in quite as quickly without hesitation because as we're doing that every three months, we're getting that constant feedback about how well our skills are doing and there's always constant room for improvement for the next time. I like to say to the department or the people involved in making the decision to bring RQI to Trinity Health Muskegon that I feel that it has been beneficial and helpful. Um, we continue to see the identification of cardiac arrest, and I just see more and more people willing to jump in and help wherever help is needed.